Hey everybody, Damon here for Naples Luxury Cars and we have a 1970 Corvette uh, four-speed L46. It's a special car. So, and it is Donnie Burke Green. That's a mouthful. So we're gonna do a quick uh, cold start and then Sophie's gonna take it for a test drive. Very excited. Super excited. Look at this thing. We're excited because it's got no air conditioning and ah. it's a manual. No, I like the wind in my hair. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm going to walk around, pick out some imperfections. There's some things on the car. It's not perfect. It's not a, a uh, NRCS or NCSR or something like that. Um, but this is the L46 engine package. And I'm not all that familiar, but we've had a bunch of people making comments. So that's kind of cool that... It's uh, it makes the car more special and rare, but uh, as you can see, the car's been sitting in here um, for he's been in here for two days, I think. Uh, Kevin detailed it, so it's uh, been cleaned up. A um, couple things to talk about on the engine: we did put a new carburetor on it. The original carburetor comes along with it. Uh, it does have the ignition cover, all this chrome stuff on here. Uh, engine was apparently rebuilt in 2002 when, um, when the car was restored. And the car's in really great condition. Uh, there are some things to pick apart because it is a 20 plus year old restoration. And uh, we'll get to that. I've got a uh, cloth here. I'm just gonna check the oil to give everybody a look of the oil. It's kind of a new thing we're gonna start doing. Uh, as you can see, it's full and it's clean, so that's good. Uh, most of the cars that we get, we don't do any service work on. Uh, we're not a service company. We basically do marketing and advertising on bring a trailer, find really, really nice cars from either private party owners or car collectors. Um, and then we list them on bring a trailer and hopefully somebody's gonna win this car. Actually, no, not hopefully, because it's no reserve. So, Sophie, I think it's your turn. Yep. It'd be really cool if this had air conditioning, but not so lucky. Oh, I'll go to the back. Unique thing about uh, this model of Corvette is you have to have it in reverse to take the key out. She's putting the key in right now. Uh, all the gauges work. The uh, the radio comes on, but it doesn't play. The clock has periodically been working. Um, we're showing it with the hard top on it right now, but we're going to pause this after she starts it, after she pulls it out. We're going to take the hard top off, but did want you to see the car with the hard top on. The outside of it's in phenomenal condition. It's soft. You can feel the, the foam underneath, not foam, but you can feel that there's this uh, this vinyl is very soft. It's in really, really good condition. There are some rub areas, and I'll point those out underneath. We will be taking the hard top off and just uh, driving with the soft top on and with the top on or off? Off. Off, right. Okay. Let me know when you're about ready. Okay. Uh, the license plate will come with the car if uh, the individual wants it. Vet 70, so that's kind of cool. All right, do your thing. Well, try number one. No smoke, that's good. Probably don't need this down there. Car runs really good, and it's quiet. As you can hear, you don't hear any uh, any engine noise. No pinging, no lifters rattling. She's gonna bring the car out of the shop. All those are bring a trailer cars back there, and a couple out here. But all you guys care about right now is this Donnie Brook L46 four-speed Corvette. What a beautiful car. All righty. 
So let me pick apart a couple things on the car. Um, there is a spot back here on the back deck, right here, that could be touched up. Uh, the car was polished. We didn't polish it. Kevin washed it and waxed it. There's some wax residue on some areas, but the paint is in phenomenal condition for being 20 something years old. Uh, the, I'm a little OCD and the exhaust tips are not coming out at the same spot. So me personally, I would put new exhaust uh, mufflers on it. Something that's gonna flow a little better, maybe some Flowmasters or something similar. So it sounds, you hear a little bit more of the exhaust from the engine because it's really quiet. Uh, tires are great. Not that that really matters, it's all about the car. The paint, there's no door dings, there's no issues down the sides, nothing down here. Um, there are a couple things on the front I'm gonna show you. The back is in great condition. There is a little bit of hazing right here on the back up on this one see that there uh, but whenever they did the restoration they did a phenomenal job there is an area down here on this fin that the paint is chipped off a little bit so I want you to be aware of that somebody made comments about the rivets there's some of those here and here there's two lines and I can't tell you whether that how normal that is or isn't but it is. We'll be testing the headlights here. There is a little bit of cracking right here. There's two crack lines here. Then there's a scratch here. That could possibly be polished out. I can see Kevin didn't get all the wax. This is some wax residue. The windshield is in great condition. Uh, Sophie will be trying out the wipers. That's kind of cool how they come out of here. Uh, it only has one mirror. The fins on this side are perfect condition. The rims are in great shape. There's a little bit of pitting in the black on the uh, rally caps, but the rings, there's no dings or, or dents on those. Um, so yeah, and then we'll talk about the interior when we drive. So we're going to pause, or no, you want to take off now with the hard top? And then we'll come back and take the hard top off. The car's really quiet. It's almost too quiet. I put some different mufflers on it. And it's very low geared. The engine is so quiet, there's no pain or nothing. 1970 Donnie Brook Green, final top, four speed, actual mile car. So quiet. Well, what you think? Well, I like it. Somebody yeah. else down the street likes it. They oh. scream at me. At the, I got scared. He's like, I love your car. Oh, the guy on the bike. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tack works. Speedometer works. All the gauges work, except for the clock. It periodically works. Um, so you like it? I like it. <laughs> okay, classic. Hmm. Barefoot, no high heels. Correct. Okay. <laughs> Rev it up. Let's hear it. Nuts. I don't know about you guys, but I want a little, uh, I want to hear the exhaust a little more. So, anyway, we're going to pause. We're going to take the hard top off, put the soft top on. Where can you find this car? Bring a trailer. How much? It could be as low as a dollar for no, right here. No, it's already at, <laughs> sorry ma'am, it's already at, I think it's at 30,000. Oh, well, a minimum of 30,000. 30,100. There you go. All righty. Uh, we'll see everybody back here in just a moment. Oh, by the way, that's an RX-7 with 700 miles on it. Anyway. <laughs>